Okay, now that we have talked about the basics of sheets, how to lay them out and what they mean, let's cover the last bit about sheets that you need to know, and that's about the print view. Now at any point you might be ready to print this document. Just as you see here, this document is ready to print. I have two sheets here, a personal budget and a company budget, and they're both ready to print. Now as you might expect, you can come up here to file and down to print, and then hope for the best. But if you want to be a little more precise and be ready for what comes out of the printer, you can go ahead and look at the print view. And you'll also see as we work with the print view that a couple other options become available. Now to access the print view, there's many ways to do it. The first option is to come up here to this view icon, click it, and come down to show print view. Clicking again obviously hides print view. We can come to view, show print view or my personal favorite and the one I use the most often is come down to this little icon right here and click it. As we click it, it takes us into print view. Now you're going to see something a little bit different as we look at this print view here. First of all, you'll see that our sheet overflows into another page. Now this is an important note that we don't always cover, that we don't always understand with pages. Just because we have a sheet here doesn't mean it's only going to take up one sheet on the printer. Now it can if we scale it appropriately, but right now it's set to two pages. You can see there's a little note here saying that this company budget is two pages. The personal budget fits on one page. Now as obvious as it may seem, we're looking at multiple pages here, and this indicates the difference in page, this line right here. As we scroll down, we can see the bottom of the page, and when we scroll over here, we can see this bottom and the side of the page. So these are our sheets of paper, just like they'll come out on the printer. Now if we want to scale this sheet down so that everything fits on here, all we have to do is come down to Content Scale and drag the slider a little bit to the left to make it smaller. You can see that automatically it scales the sheet to fit in the page. Now as I make this bigger, you'll see that it starts to fill more pages. Pages automatically changes your document so that it can fit in the pages. As I make it like this, it's now ready to fit into four pages here. And so now when I go to print, it's going to take up four pages for this sheet. Now another important thing to understand about print view is that each sheet is different. So the settings I have set for this sheet are different than the settings I have for this sheet. This sheet will only take up one page. This is going to take up four. So each sheet is unique. Now we can also change the orientation of the pages. Here you can see we're looking at landscape. The long part of the page is on the top and the bottom, and then the sides are the short sides of the page. Now we can change this to portrait so that these short sides are the top, just as you'd normally expect to get with a letter or something like that, by coming down here and toggling between the two. This small icon here sets us to portrait. You can see how the page is now short along the top and longer by the sides. This takes up more pages side to side, but fewer top to bottom. And we can go back to landscape, which is the default, by clicking this icon here. Now once we've changed all these settings, we're ready to print according to the settings we've just initiated. Now one last thing I want to talk about, and something that's only available in print view, is the header and footer. Now you might want to add a header or a footer to a document. There might be many reasons to do this. You could add copyright information on the, in the footer. You could add page numbers, a date, a note, a legend, or various other things that you might want to add in your either the header or the footer. Now to access the header and footer, you must be in print view here or in layout mode. To access layout mode, come to view, show layout, and you're going to see the header and footer visible up here on the top. You simply click it to access it and start typing. You can see this is our work area, this next box here, and then we have our footer down here. Now I'm going to show you back in print view, so I'm going to turn off, I'm going to hide layout mode, and now we're just in print view. Now in print view, all we have to do is hover over the top, and this box will become available. Same thing with the footer, as we hover near the bottom, once we hover over the footer, our footer becomes available. So I'm going to show you some in things that we can do with this. I'm going to hover over the top, click on the header, and I'm going to change it to center. So now our page is justified to center, and I'm going to type company budget, 
the title of our document, and then I'm going to add the date. Now I'm going to show you some cool tools you can use to access this information. Now I'm going to come up here to insert, and then we have date and time, file name, page number, and page count. Now the cool thing about these four items right here is that these are auto-updating features. So if I add a page count, as we add more pages to our document, the page count is going to always change to reflect the number of pages. I don't need to manually type the number of pages if we were to edit it. It's going to automatically update. Likewise, if we add a page number, the page number is going to be consistent depending on the page that it is. Likewise, if the file name changes, it, the file name will change when we add this information here. And likewise, the date and time will always show the last printed date and time. So I'm going to click here and I'm going to add date and time. Now it adds my date right here. If I were to open this up another day, it's going to show a different date up here, which is the nice thing. This is always going to be reflected on the most current date that I've used to access this document. Now when I click out, it goes away, and you're going to see that this information is now on every other page with this sheet. Now one other thing that's important to understand is this is not going to follow suit in this other sheet here. Now this sheet doesn't even have a header because I haven't enabled it yet. So this sheet has its own header, and it's going to be the same header used in all these pages within this sheet, and only this sheet. Now I'm going to add a footer, and this time we're going to add a page count. So I'm going to come up here to insert, page number, I'm going to type a slash, and now I'm going to insert page count. Now this shows me how many pages, there's six pages in my document, it counts the personal budget as a page, and this is the second page. You can see if I come over here, this is the fourth page, this is the third page, and this is the fifth page. Now I'm going to come up here and I'm going to change this, this other page, this other sheet, so it takes up more pages. So here we go, we're adding four, four more pages to our document, and now we're going to come back to our company budget and look at the footer. You can see now it's changed to five out of nine pages. So this information updates all the time. So we never have to worry about changing page numbers if we make changes to our document. It automatically updates. So there you go. Now you've added headers and footers to your document. You know how to show the print view and how to change how it comes out of your printer. And you know how to use these auto insert features, which are very, very nice.